In this video, I'm going to compare graded versus ungraded discussion style voice threads. There's pros to both and cons. And so I have a version of both here, a graded version and an ungraded version. I will say that the big drawback to ungraded is that there's no direct gradebook connection. So when I do this, I have one window up with VoiceThread, and I have to search the user, and then another window on my computer up that has the grade book, and I manually enter those grades. So clearly that takes more time to grade for the instructor. Now graded, I don't have to take that extra step because when I go to click on that, it opens up a grading window, and it'll show me the list of students who have submitted, and I can click on them and it'll pull up all their threads that I can just easily click on. That is clearly, as far as workflow, great for an instructor. One of the ways that this is really different is how a student interacts with it and the ways that it can kind of create confusion for them. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to go over to the student view and I'm going to show you the difference. First, we'll start with ungraded because I think it has the easiest flow for a student and of course not for faculty grading, but it does have the, the easiest flow for a student. So when they click on it, all it does is launch it and they can just go straight in and create their main comment, whatever the assignment that you said they needed to do, they can just go and start creating their main post. They can create reply posts. They go straight in, not much to worry about. Now the difference for them when it comes to a graded voice thread, one that was set up as a graded voice thread, is that when they click on that, they have an extra click to launch it. And when they launch, it's a little bit busier. They have a, a voice thread option here, but they also have this over here that's going to tell them about the assignment, which can be useful to have that description, but they also have to submit. And it's saying they already submitted, but it will say submit here. And that can create some confusion for them. It also means that they can go over here and they can create all the comments that they needed to create and then never click the submit button. And if they don't do that, it doesn't speak with the graded version on the faculty end. It will, that student just won't show up on that list. Although there will be comments in the voice thread, it's not going to basically, voice thread isn't going to push it over to something that's been submitted. So they may have completed the assignment, but not submitted the assignment, if that makes sense, because they can go over here and create comments without actually submitting. In some ways, you can save yourself a lot of grading time if a student knows that process. So it's really important to make sure that they understand that they create comments and then they submit. They can also resubmit if you have that turned on for them, but that's an important portion of it, um, that it's that two-step process, or you may find yourself having more time lost to students who are saying, well, why didn't I get a grade? I did submit this assignment. So you can kind of see some of the pros and cons. It could be the same exact voice thread, but you may have more student confusion on the voice thread graded version, and you will absolutely have more grading time on the ungraded version because you have to kind of manually enter that. So pros and cons, and I leave that to you to decide.